What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. God of War got its AMD FSR 2.0 update this week, so I wanted to go ahead and check that out here on the Steam Deck. It's a feature similar to DLSS, though done very differently, that can help improve our performance. As far as the way I have settings here on the Steam Deck, we'll have our performance overlay up. I'm gonna be on the 60 hertz refresh, but I highly recommend if you're gonna play God of War, you, you go with 30 or 40, and we'll talk about more of that uh, later on in the video. But let's go ahead and get booted up into God of War here. And we'll go ahead and take a look at our settings first. And I'm gonna start with original, but we'll get into that. I'll go into display here. And of course, we'll be borderless on here. We'll be 1280 by 800 for the Steam Deck. VSync will be on because we're not trying to get above 60 FPS. And AMD FSR 2.0 here has off balanced quality performance and ultra performance, which we'll check out. The only preset I'm gonna focus on in this video is original. My goal was to play this game on its original graphic settings. You won't do higher ultra on the Steam Deck, likely anyway, unless you're getting into a uh, 30 FPS FSR ultra performance experience or something. And low, you could do. I've been playing the game on low quite a bit, but anyways, here we are on original FSR is off and we're just in this scene right here. There's some fog, some smoke, some fire, lighting. We've got uh, some different things here. So it's consistent for me just to kind of look at the differences in performance, even though this area itself isn't really indicative of the performance you would get, you know, everywhere else in the game. It still gives us an idea. So let's go through these settings and take a look at FSR 2.0 uh, and all its glory here. So we'll go down here and we'll turn it on starting with quality and we'll go through each each of these uh, pretty quickly here and take a look at them as we lower the internal resolution and upscale. Now with quality, just like with the LSS and, and other upscaling, you won't notice a big difference in your visual quality. It'll do a great job. FSR 2.0 has been pretty impressive, even though I'm more a fan of DLSS and their AI approach there. But we do gain a few FPS here, and this could be a good way to play original at a locked 30 because there are other areas of the game where it, the game will run at least 10 FPS lower than it is right here uh, as far as I've tested out. But let's go in here and we'll change over to balanced on our DLSS which, or on our FSR 2.0, which is usually my favorite setting, whether I'm on FSR or DLSS. Balanced is where I tend to go uh, for visual quality and gain in performance. We only gained a few more FPS here, but in this area of the game, you could see that if you wanted to, you could get close to a locked 40 FPS experience, which we'll try a little bit later. Again, I would do that through the Steam deck and change its refresh rate over the game. It'll give you a better, smoother experience on the handheld. Uh, but for recording here, I'm gonna keep things at 60 and just mess with the game itself. But decent experience for balanced um, for FSR. Let's go in here and change over to performance. Now, we will start to see more of the visual integrity leave the game uh, as we go into performance as we're upscaling a lot more from the lower resolution, but our frame times are doing good. We have a nice solid line there and our FPS uh, has gained about another five standing in that same particular spot. Uh, right there with performance and performance is okay you'd probably have to use this in other areas of the game if you wanted to uh, play closer to a locked 40. I have seen areas with original settings uh, like this with performance where I still dipped down to like 31 32 fps um, so it can still happen to you here. Now ultra performance is going to look the absolute worst even on the smaller screen of the Steam Deck but it does give you the most in fps. With a game like this, I certainly wouldn't be super interested in that because it's not highly competitive. We're upscaling 268p here, um, so you're gonna lose a lot of detail. And I think this game just looks too good to do something like that. While I'm not a fan of 30 FPS gaming, I would much rather go with like a balanced FSR and run this game at a locked 30, maybe even 40 in some areas of the game, but that's my own personal preference. Ultra performance really wouldn't be for me here. It's a nice little boost in FPS, but I personally wouldn't need that for God of War. So I do wanna go ahead and go back in. We're gonna, we're gonna change the settings back over to an FSR 2.0 balanced. We're gonna lock things down to 40 and we're gonna take a look at uh, a little bit of fighting. We'll talk more about that, but let's go in here, get things switched back over. I highly recommend just going in here and playing with these settings uh, and getting things the way you want them. You know, whether you wanna go lower on your graphics, if you wanna tweak the original preset, um, if you wanna play around in high and uh, performance and ultra performance FSR, it's all really a lot of fun. So uh, go in here and have a lot of fun with these settings. Play around with them and get the kind of performance that, uh, that you wanna get. So we're gonna lock the game to 40 again. I would do this through the Steam Deck, but I don't wanna mess with my recording here. I'm gonna keep it at 60 Hertz, but um, that's how I would do it through the Steam Deck. But I'm gonna lock the game itself to 40 here with balanced FSR, just to give you an idea and show you kind of what I'm talking about when it comes to playing a more solid 40 FPS experience here. Again, other parts of the game I have seen this setting still dip me down to about 32 FPS. So it can, it can very much change depending on where you're playing. 
And now there's not a lot of enemies here, but there's still a lot going on with effects and particles, lighting, uh, ground clutter. We've got the small boss here and all of that. So to be able to hold uh, close to 40 FPS with FSR 2.0 balanced and original game settings, I think is pretty impressive for the Steam Deck, even though we're dealing with these lower resolutions on a lower screen. Um, so I'll probably mostly be playing the game this way. However, uh, because of other areas later on in the game that do dip more, um, I might opt to just stick with uh, a 30 FPS lock on this game, even with FSR balanced and original settings. But anyways, this might give you guys an idea of how to go in, play with your settings, get the performance uh, that you want and what to expect from FSR 2.0 here. Uh, AMD's doing a great job with this technology and I like seeing the competition to NVIDIA's DLSS uh, 2.0. So anyways, guys, leave me your comments down below. Subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell. You know what to do. Help out the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for coming to watch as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.